My name is Rebecca Turner. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and board certified in neurofeedback. Neurofeedback is a way to train our brain. It's different than psychotherapy or coaching. Those things provide you with valuable skills, tools, and insights to put into practice in your life to make it better. Neurofeedback, on the other hand, is a way of training and changing the way that our brain is actually producing and optimizing its electrical activity so that it's working better. Psychotherapy and neurofeedback are very different, they're very powerful, and they actually complement each other really well. To really understand the difference between the two, I like to use the metaphor of soccer. Now to be good at soccer, you really need two primary things. The first is skills, literally how the game of soccer is played, how to make quick decisions to work with your team effectively, and ultimately to help you win. But the second thing you need is the physical conditioning and stamina developed in the gym to put those skills to practice and use in the first place. Think of psychotherapy and coaching as the skills and neurofeedback as the conditioning. Our brains communicate in two main ways, through chemicals like serotonin and dopamine and through electrical activity. Medications are targeting the chemical messengers of our brain. Neurofeedback is targeting the electrical patterns in our brain. The electrical activity in our brain is extremely subtle. It's like music that's on at an extremely low volume. It's there, but the volume is just too low for us to hear. Usually our brain's electrical activity is not something we can directly interact with. The music is on too low. That's what makes neurofeedback special. It acts as an amplifier. It allows us to turn up the volume, so to speak, on our brainwaves so that we can do something with them. There's two parts to how neurofeedback works. First, it measures data from our brain and then sends that data back to our brain, creating a communication loop that we don't normally have access to. When neurofeedback is taking information from our brain, it's using special sensors on your scalp that are able to pick up the extremely subtle electrical signals your brain is making. It sends these signals into something called an amplifier, which allows a computer program to analyze their brain waves, basically acting like turning up the volume on a speaker. The computer program is able to identify when your brain is making certain kinds of electrical activity connected to better cognitive functioning, physiological regulation, and emotional balance. When the computer program identifies that your brain is making balanced, optimized brainwave patterns, which it does organically sometimes, it signals to your brain by making the screen that you're watching getting get brighter, or the music that you're listening to get louder. This process of brightening, darkening, or getting louder or softer in response to your brainwave activity repeats over and over during a training session in response to what your brain is doing. As it does, your brain links together what activity produced the brighter screen or the louder music, and thus it starts to learn to create that activity more sustainably, both in and out of our training sessions. This is known as operant conditioning. When a particular action is paired with a reward of some kind, that action is more likely to be repeated. In this case, the action is brain activity, and the reward is the brighter screen or the louder music. We like to see a screen or hear music clearly, so each time the brain gets that reward, it becomes more likely to recreate and sustain the brain activity that immediately preceded it. As the brain repeats this activity reward process over and over and over in a training session, our brains start to change. Rather than being a treatment for a specific disorder or a cluster of symptoms, Neurofeedback is focused on helping your entire brain become more balanced and communicate with itself more effectively. 
This means that neurofeedback can be beneficial for many people who are dealing with a wide variety of difficulties. When our brain is behaving in a more balanced way, we tend to see cha positive changes in a lot of different areas. Primarily, people will reach out and look for neurofeedback training services when they're experiencing severe anxiety, severe depression that doesn't seem to be responding to medications or to psychotherapy. We also see a lot of recommendations for neurofeedback for people who are dealing with cognitive difficulties, whether it's ADHD or brain fog, their brain is just not firing the same way that it used to, and it's hard. People also reach out if they are experiencing sleep difficulties, have had a history of traumatic brain injuries, migraines, and even people who are helping their brain and their body create space from a substance that they perhaps were reliant upon. Neurofeedback is beneficial for many people as it helps your brain make strides towards becoming its best self in a way that is sustainable and will last for a long time. Give us a call so that we can talk more about what's happening in your life and see if neurofeedback is a good fit for your healing journey. We look forward to speaking with you.